Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new Walking Dead episode. Before I start this reaction, I want to tell you that it is possible to already see my reaction to the next episode, episode 20. It's already available on my Patreon. You can also find the uncut version to all my reactions there. Link is in the description, so check that out if you're interested. And beside that, I gotta say, uh, the first two episodes, I think the second one was already better than the first one. But I don't know, I didn't really feel it yet. Maybe it was also because it had such a big break and now I really had to get back into it. I didn't really know what to think of them. The ending of the second one was really exciting though. And I read some comments on my previous uh, Walking Dead reactions and people said that uh, this episode was gonna be epic. I believe some people already saw it because they were kind of late with releasing it. So some people had seen it, some people had not. It was kind of confusing because I actually wanted to record it yesterday with House of the Dragon at the same time. But... It wasn't there but yeah now it's here and those people who said that gave me good hope so i hope they're right i gotta say i don't get a lot of views on my new walking dead reactions i'm not sure what it is or why that is maybe just because the past two episodes weren't that exciting but i don't know i also have a feeling like the hype isn't that big this time as in i remember when i watched the previous part of the season that everyone was pretty hyped about The Walking Dead. And now, to be honest, I don't hear anyone talking about it. There's not even, like, on Twitter, normally when you do the hashtags of a popular show, they show, like, some kind of emoji after it. And they didn't even do that. So I feel like a lot of people don't even know that The Walking Dead is going again. And it's kind of weird, because it's the very last season ever. But yeah, I mean, of course, I'm still gonna react to it. Um, maybe I'll get more views if the episode is gonna be more exciting. You know, that's how it goes. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have to see about that. I'm still excited for this. Last thing we saw was, of course, that Sebastian died. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty epic moment. And now let's watch this new episode. Oh yeah, right, these parts. They were doing that every episode. Oh, I remember this. Mm, not this moment. So I feel like this is gonna be a Eugene episode. Oh, this is so chaotic. So now he gets the blame. Where is Max? Damn, okay. Damn, these intros are suddenly so long. Way longer than they used to be. Maybe it's a special thing for the last season. Oh, <laughs> Sebastian. We need a walker by now. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay, they haven't done it yet. Is she really so fucked up that she would just let him turn into a walker? Your sister was loyal to me for over a decade. Why did she just lost her mind? Hmm. Why did she just lost her mind? I want to remind these people that actions have consequences. What are you saying? If you find an arrest oh. for the they can stand as the example to all. Now I'm so glad Sebastian really got what was coming for him though, finally. Any known associates of Eugene Porter are to be brought in for questioning regarding the Founders Day riot. Oh, this princess, we haven't yeah, seen her at all. But what the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh, really? Is he smelling them? Gina Espinosa, 929 Miller Street, Sector G4. Currently really? Employed. Really? Unmarried, one daughter, Socorro Espinosa. You seriously doing this? Who were you with? Myself. You were with Eugene because at the end of the day, it's obvious where Eugene is going to be. You're like family. I'll call you if I see him. Why is Mercer <laughs> still being loyal to them? I don't get it. I respect you. And they're all getting ready. Wait. Oh. I hope not. Oh. Reckon better than I deserve. I'm the one who should truly be sorry. It's my actions have put you both in extremely compromised situations. Dude, no. I mean, everyone wants to expose come. them. The risk of standing ungrateful for all your efforts on my behalf. Cannot leave without my beloved. I need to go find her. Yeah, I thought so. I cannot. I could not leave without her. Da, he is so but traumatic. It's cute though. Maybe 
leave the wagon behind? Mm. Uh, that, I, like, that was so obvious that was gonna happen. His foot was literally in front of the tire. But I also feel like they're just doing this to like fill the episode. Damn. I knew that she was gonna know how to do it better. I mean, she's lived outside for like forever. They're hella cute though. I'm gonna get my Kindle. That was awkward. Big, it's got walls, water nearby. Yeah, what is this place and why has no one found it before? Kingdom 2.0, yeah. <laughs> They're iron. Girl. Very soon that is not gonna be your son anymore. I feel like it's even taken quite long for him to turn. Here we go. So she really just waited till the very last moment that it wouldn't be her son anymore. For three hours, it smells like armpits and ass in there. Sorry. Can't be something treating you any different. If they catch him, he's dead. How can you be good? Yeah, I don't get why he just keeps following their orders. He didn't know any of this was gonna happen. But it did. You can't change that. And I gotta look out for my family you now. He's literally dating your sister, and I mean, he knows that, right? Gotta go. Yeah. Aww. Oh. Yeah. Brought back memories of Henry. Oh. That's what's going on. I, I don't think I can. Girl, you're like, how old is she? Like, max 20. You used to be married once. Yeah, Eric and I, we met in DC. Eric, oh. oh yeah, I was like, I kind of remember it, but now that he says his name, I actually he can see his face again. Asked, but eventually I said yes. Our time together, those years in Alexandria, was the happiest moments of my life. Chills. <laughs> Loss is inevitable. It always has been. I think we can control us when we say yes. That is a cool place though. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Ah. Oh. I mean, they were gonna get her anyway. I have suffered from bouts of depression for years and recently stopped taking my medication. That is very random. So Eugene was behind it all? I did this. Because I couldn't stand being a part of something so wrong. Yeah, and why doesn't Mercer see that? Just like Dad used to say, I think he would have liked you, Jean. I think he would have been ashamed of you. Well said. I mean, I get that it's a hard position for Mercer, but at the same time, I'm like, he has so much power in there. Johnny, he basically so commands all of these people, like the army, I mean. So, like, he could easily do something, right? Jesus, Eugene. Daryl's like, are you fucking serious right now? Is this for real? Yeah, I mean, they want to execute you, and if you want to risk that, that's on you. You're not trying to stop me. You ain't going. Because I'm a coward. Relying on others to survive. The only way I buck natural selection was my pension for prevarication. Okay, to be fair, that's how it started out. But first of all, I'm not sure if you should be so ashamed See, of that. If you're just not a fighter, you have to find a way to survive. Ashamed. And after that, that, I think he redeemed himself pretty well. So to keep bringing that back. Do you think people are born brave? What if they become I think it depends a lot on how you're raised also. Well, like I kind of forgot they had this thing well, going as well. Because last time I talked about the petting zoo. No, I'm not leaving. Yeah. Even after what they want to do to Eugene? Yeah, what the fuck, Crazy dude? shit is happening. All the more reason to stay. Show the truth. People won't change. What better time to fight for it than the powers that be a fright? Huh? Well, maybe I don't feel like fighting. Maybe this place looks all nice. But really? Underneath? It sucks. You think this Mercer's a good man? Yeah. But I've known a lot of guys who I thought were good men. Maybe this time I deserve more than just the best of a bad situation. 
to be honest, I think Mercer is being a really big asshole right now. And honestly, I'm just like, does this man even have emotions? I mean, they were cute in the beginning, but at this point I'm just like, why would you want to keep dating him? Does he know? Help myself. There yeah. are people under fake workers trying to rotters and release them on the public. Oh, yeah, that were his people. But I never... Intended for him. What did you think was gonna happen? That relationship is so weird to me. Kind of reminds me of uh, Homelander and the woman who gives him breast milk. Is she going full on Two Face now too? Honestly, I think this idea is cool and all, but I feel like they ripped it from DC so fucking hard. The, nah, come on, dude. Oh, okay, they're at least doing it in a different way. This is... Now he's overthinking it. <sighs> fucking hell. Because I was actually thinking of choosing the other one. I promise I'll be better from now on. No more games, no more secrets. I am 100% for the Milton family's disposal. I know you are, man. <gasps> oh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I knew she wasn't just gonna let him live after what he did. So we'll just be locked up there with a walker? Honestly, I don't like Pamela, but I also don't like Lance and I also didn't like Sebastian. So even though Pamela is doing it to Lance, I feel like Lance is also kind of getting what's coming for him now. Can we talk? Sure. This is awkward. I, I don't want you to leave. Look, I have to. You're great. Really? Now I feel kind of bad for him, but at the same time, I'm like... I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. New bro. Start tying me up. Uh. Throw me in a closet. Leave me there for hours. So they take turns beating me. And all I hear was, "What do you think could be worse?" Fuck that thinking. It could be better too. It should. And I really think Mercer should start thinking that way more. Honestly, he could do Sorry, so much I'm better. I must step down. Step by and watch. I'm basically my mom. And I am not Damn. my mom. This is kind of powerful though. I gotta go. Mm. Okay. When I see a man, I see a monster. But I know that's not you. I feel like stuff's gonna happen now because something is up with that place. We just saw the walker, so I'm even starting to get scared that someone might die or something. I don't know. We also already yeah. had Sebastian dying. Let's oh, There they are. Oh, that's actually a lot. Why do we never see them do the leg trick from Walking That Tall Hill? Are they opening the doors? Didn't even think of that. It's still so weird to me that Lydia was a whisperer and now Alpha has been dead for a while and they're still whisperers bothering them. 
talking about? No, you couldn't have killed them with just the two of you. Or even the four. Oh no, hold the door. Uh, I don't think Cherry. Oh, that's scary as fuck. You know, if it's just walkers, it's like, okay. But knowing that there's whispers, you never know what they can do. Dude. 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 Yeah, dude. Why do they have to keep growling? You're not even with the walkers anymore. We know you're a whisperer. What? 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 He literally... They're evolving? Are they evolving? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I think that's why the episode is called Variant. I already kind of suspected something like this to happen because of the title. But damn. They're all just gone now? Hey. He was getting real insecure there for a second after what happened the last time. I mean, I'd get insecure if I try to kiss someone and the person's like, No, I'm gonna get the stuff. Like, <laughs> I mean, it looks like a kingdom. I like that. Queen of Vila? Yeah, they want to kill you if you stay there. What kind of man would I be if I didn't try? What? That's a lot. If you stay here, they will kill you. Dude, this makes no sense. So you'd rather die than not be with her? Yeah, okay, that's like romantic and stuff, but also really stupid. I didn't believe I trusted you because I always do. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I do believe that one day she'll have a style to pull this off. Make it like the average rage big D. Is he really staying there? And then what? I don't want Eugene to die. I honestly, I don't want anyone to die in this last season. Just end up happy. I honestly just hope. He's, he can be like happy with Max after all in the end. After everything he's been through, give him ha his happy ending. I mean, dude, he literally walked in there himself. My name is Eugene Porter and I'm here to confess. Anything else? I acted alone. Maxine Mercer may have been present but had nothing to do with any of it. Damn. That's real love. Take him. Mer Mercer better change his mind or starts acting different or like realize that what he's doing is wrong maybe after the things max said he'll realize behind bars again every fucking time what the hell you go rosita oh shit your friends have been removed Okay, no, 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 I don't want to see the next time. What the fuck? Okay. First of all, Rosita's fighting skills are like... But yeah, like two men twice the size of her is kind of unfair. But what the fuck? Did she just get kidnapped? So I gotta say, again, a little better than the previous one, but still not that I'm like... So fucking good. But at the same time, at this point, I'm kind of like, what more can you do? I feel like all the good stuff we've been having in the past few seasons. Because I think the past two seasons, I think they were actually really good. And I'm just thinking like every time we had good episodes, it was mostly when they were discovering something new. Like when they were discovering the Whisperers. And when they were discovering the Commonwealth. Just that community. Like... It's kind of the unknowing that's interesting to us, I think. And I feel like we don't really have that anymore. 
everything is pretty predictable right now. And then they're trying to bring in some like new sorts of walkers. I mean, that's interesting and all, but I, I think also because it's like the last six episodes now, we only have five left. That's insane, first of all. But I don't know. I feel like there's not a lot more to explore, but I also feel like they're not really trying that much. I think they're just trying to get an end to the story at this point. I gotta say it has some nice moments but it, it's mostly because we love the characters. I mean let's just say if I didn't have a bond with any of these characters and I'd see this storyline I'd just be like okay what the fuck am I watching this is so not interesting. Of course because we're curious what is about to happen to our characters it makes it a little more interesting. But I don't know, I'm not really feeling this part of the season. I really hoped for more. I just hope things are gonna speed up a bit. Because I think if that happens, it could be really good. Because I just feel like every episode we saw right now, like all those three episodes, I feel like they could have been told in one episode if they had just sped things up a bit. Would have been way more interesting and they would have even had more chance of telling more of the story, but like in a more interesting way. I don't know, it just feels really slow. It all feels so slow. So yeah, I think that was my reaction. Like I'm not too, I don't feel too bad about the episodes because I'm honestly at this point, I'm also like, I don't want anything too bad to happen to them. Because like I said, it's the last few episodes and I don't want anyone important to die now. I'm kind of fine with just finishing the story as long as we just get a good ending. But at the same time, I had hoped for a bit more of an epic last part of this season. I, I'm gonna be honest about that. I'm curious what you guys think though. Like I said, if you're interested, you can already find the next episode on my Patreon. And you can also find this episode on Cut there. So make sure to check that out. And um, yeah, then that was my reaction. Did you like it? Then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next time. Bye.